Uh, welcome, gentlemen. We're here today to talk about some of the challenges of investing, developing, and owning properties in the urban centers. Um, I also think we want to discuss how important our cities are, the overall health and the vitality of the state, and what we can collectively do to boost uh, interest in these areas. I think we can all agree without a healthy urban core in New Jersey, our growth and prosperity in the state is in serious jeopardy. Um, New Jersey is the most densely populated state in the country, as we, own, as we all know, and it is vital to the state economic well-being that we attract not just, not just jobs and therefore major companies, but that we do it in a, uh, we build and develop in a more, most intelligent manner um, possible. Today, more than ever, corporate America realizes that in order to have a productive workplace, corporations must meet the needs of their employees. I mean, that's, that's a, you know, a bellwether that is, is clear for, for uh, the construction and, and the quality of environments in, in, in today's uh, office workplace. Uh, New Jersey cities are, are well positioned to do that. They have the infrastructure, they, they, they have the location, they have the, uh, the ease of transportation um, that, that create opportunities for us to, uh, to uh, attract jobs and, and, and people here. Um, the 24-7 lifestyle is also a, a critical part of that, and most of our urban centers provide that. Um, and, and we also can do that. We can develop world-class business environments at, at legitimately half the price of the costs of, uh, of New York City. Uh, specifically with the new urban transit uh, hub tax credit program, which provides tax credits of, I think, 80 to 100 percent of uh, capital investments of at least 75 million or greater, uh, makes uh, New Jersey, in, I guess in all uh, New Jersey's nine uh, transit hubs, uh, the state has made a very compelling value proposition to uh, major corporations in the tri-state area and, and beyond. This tax credit is a very powerful tool that is aiming, aimed at attracting corporations to move back into New Jersey's cities, which also provides an economic incentive to, to develop and, uh, in an intelligent manner. Uh, in this roundtable discussion, we've assembled the developers who are out there on the front lines. You know, these guys, these guys are, uh, they have the real money out there and they're, and they're investing. These are the guys that are gonna lead the urban centers into the future that, that, uh, that, that Mayor Booker was so eloquent about uh, discussing his future vision of, of, uh, of Newark. Um, you know, they, they'll share their thoughts with us and concerns about what, what it takes as a state to make this, uh, make this vision and, and Mayor, Mayor uh, Booker's uh, vision reality. Let me, let me start with uh, Steve Pizicki. Steve, you're one of the few developers that's, uh, that's building in, in New York City as well as New Jersey. Uh, how do these two markets differ? You know, we, uh, I'm a glutton for punishment, so uh, you know, I take, we take a beating in Jersey, we take a beating in New York. That's the development business. No, uh, they're very different. Um, you know, New York is a uh, feeder market for corporate users for the rest of the country. Uh, New York is one of the top five global cities. It's a very should be. Connecticut, uh, you know, has some of the same <coughs> issues with high cost of housing, not a very good infrastructure. So Jersey, historically, has always been a beneficiary because we've had great infrastructure, we've had a very educated labor base. We really never needed uh, corporate America because we had AT&T and Lucent, then we got the pharmaceuticals, and AT&T and Lucent are gone. Pharmaceuticals aren't growing. They're not growing here. They're growing in other places. So our competition used to be the metropolitan area, and we could win. Our competition today is the global market. Our competition today is North Carolina, northern Florida, uh, Texas. If, if we lose out to those states, we lose those pennants forever. So the benefit, though, is we're the closest we got the best proximity, and you know it was great to hear from Corey and how enthusiastic he is, and you know the work he's done, and 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 how much he's he's changed the city in such a short amount of time, getting it ready. New York is again, even in a bad economy, even though financial services are probably in the worst shape we've seen them in a long time, there's still growth in Manhattan. Midtown Manhattan is very tight. If we look at Manhattan. We see a couple things. 
although it's a young city globally, it's, it's one of our oldest cities. It's fairly built out. For office, we need large floor plates, you know, 35, 40,000 feet and bigger. Not opportunities in New York to do that. You know, building over platforms on the west side, very complicated, very expensive. Maybe there's an opportunity for big floor plates. You have that availability in, in, in the cities in New Jersey, particularly Newark. You have incredible mass transit. So as New York doesn't have opportunities to grow, we could be that opportunity. So I think there's, there's tremendous opportunity to you know, stimulate this state like Corey stimulated Newark and, and to attract some of these tenants, um, which you know, they're certainly looking to that. Uh, we, in addition to everything else talked about, uh, you're talking about $100 plus rents. Um, in this economy, you may see a little more concessions. You're not gonna see that rental rate drop a lot. Um, you don't see a great supply. We're building a, a building in, in midtown Manhattan right now. Uh, it's LEED certified, floor to ceiling glass, 10 foot ceilings, destination dispatch elevators. The office building has changed more in the demands that the corporate users put on it today than in the past, you know, since we started uh, habitating in offices. Midtown Manhattan, the average age of the office building is over 60, 70 years old. And what does that mean? That means low slab to slab. That means columns everywhere. That means, you know, infrastructure that's not there. That means mechanical systems that are hard to uh, retrofit. When, when we, we have the ability to build brand new, we have the ability to put people in, in, in offices that are comfortable, that, that work for them. And so in Manhattan, with the building we're building, we're the only building today in midtown Manhattan going up that's LEED certified gold, that has all the uh, infrastructure that people want, that have big floor plates. Sites are very, very limited. So I think there is a tremendous opportunity right now. Uh, there's, and, and the things that are being done in New York are just fabulous. And certainly the infrastructure here is here. And Jerry Gottesman has some big, big sites. <laughs> Thank can, you very much. Can you contrast the, your experience uh, between uh, building in New York and, and New Jersey? You know, I think that, uh, you know, the land use is, is clearer in New York, if you're as of right. Uh, it's not the whim of a board and multi-layers of regulations from state, county, uh, and, and municipalities. Uh, so it's a, it's a more straightforward process. Logistically, it's a nightmare. Uh, you know, the, the, the being able to deliver as many parts and pieces as you need to build a 40-story million square foot building to a site is a nightmare. A uh, lot, lot easier here. Um, the brokerage community in New Jersey is more, um, they work together better. And I want to compliment the, uh, having experienced in, you know, in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, they, you know, they tend to share information, they know each other, they go to the same functions. The New York brokers tend to uh, stay on their own. They don't, they don't mingle a lot. And I think it, I think it hurts uh, New York in the long run. But I, I, I think uh, to compare and contrast the two, clearly, New York's the feeder market, New Jersey's a receiver, and uh, probably 90% of the tenancies for our urban center will come from New York, uh, and, and we, wanna, we wanna really go after it. What are your asking rents for your building in New York? We're asking rents, we start, you know, in, in New York it's base, middle, top, different rentals, so base we're probably $95, uh, middle we're probably 110, 112, and 130 at the top. For a brand new state-of-the-art building, if the economy were better, we'd probably jack those $10 uh, a foot each. 